Hi guys, James here. Welcome to Tabor Boldy Goes Model Works and uh, time for build update part two of Meng as uh, models 1700 scale Royal Navy battleship HMS Rodney. Now, as you can see, I've got the instructions here or the colour call outs. I'll take this out of the way and uh, bring in the ship minus and minus its stand. Haven't glued it on there. Et voila. Now these kits are quite a nice mojo builder, as I've said before. Um, they are, they're not that expensive. I think it's probably about, around about 32 pound, roughly, roughly 32 pound per kit. Obviously, you can get most, obviously you can get detail, a detail up version, versions of some kits, and you can get wooden decks. I, for the Rodney, so you can get that, that's available from China. If you look on eBay, you, you, you'll find it. So, what do I think of this kit? Aside from some fit, it, there's a few a niggly fit issues, fit, is, fit issues as they would be with on a snap fit kit. Um, the deck hasn't gone down as nicely as I'd like, um, and obviously there was a lot of issues with the mast starting from. I'll show you on the I'll show you on the instructions, so because it's clearer. Let me show it to you on there. So we've got to look at part part sixteen. So obviously, make this bit up and fit that part there. So I decide, in my infinite wisdom, I, I right, so I decided to paint this part, and then I'll fit that later. So obviously, did that, glued, pushed it in that location, lay, location hole. So I had a lot of issues getting it to locate properly. Obviously, I had to open a hole, had to open a hole up on the other side, and uh, yeah, obviously get the the mast in. And obviously that that was an issue, so you had to glue that on, and then it came up to this part of the mast, so mast wouldn't go in there. Oh no, oh, bloody hell! So I've had to wait until this has dried, then drill through with a 1.2 mil. I think it was a one point. Don't quote me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a one. 0.8 mil, 0.8 mil drill, and then obviously push it down and trim it off. So obviously the star, the star actually locates on the top part of this uh, of the mast. That, that that locates properly on the mast. So obviously I did that, and that was that. Obviously the rigging diagram was quite uh, quite eventful do, 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 do. which is obviously the colour call out so it shows the wigging and you have to do all that well I'm not going to do all that because obviously it's very flexible so obviously with the uh, a lot of the rigging on there forget it so essentially I just went for a very simple approach which is like that I'll put it obviously the white tish my white tish my blitz tissue is a very good contrast for the uh, black of the easy line as you can see it went 
I didn't even hold that tight, taut, and it bowed. Um, also, the flag. That was fun to put on. Obviously, I used um, a Posca pen to highlight the things like the, the searchlights and the uh, navigation nav lights as well. Yeah. So I'm happy with it. Would would I build another one? Well, if I can find find the uh, sort of the Bismarck cheap, I shall build the Bismarck, or the Missouri and the Missouri, no doubt. Um, yeah. So next time you see this, she'll be on the spinny sin thing. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. So here we have HMS Rodney, Rod, Rodney on the spinny thing. As you can see, her in all the glorious detail. Obviously the last video was a bit dark. You can see the simplified rigging I've done on her. She turned into quite a nice small ship. A little over a foot long. It does capture the, the look of the Rod, HMS Rodney. So that's it. For, that's enough waffle from me. I just leave this, leave you to watch the spinny thing in the sun. Apologies for the um, building noise, but obviously someone's having a lot of the extension done. Obviously, it took two takes to get the get the the end sign on the on the flagpole. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And bye for now.